Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought we'd do another collection tour, but this time with my makeup collection. I thought that this was going to be pretty soon after my makeup decluttering video, but it's actually been eight months since then and a lot has changed. I've gotten rid of some more makeup and I've also gotten some new bits. So I thought I'd show you guys and just give you a little tour of what my collection looks like right now so you can see what I'm loving. I also thought it might give you some ideas on how to store your makeup. And also since it's December and Christmas is right around the corner, I thought that looking at my collection might also give you some good ideas for gifts. So before we get on with the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to stick around for the end of this video because I have some giveaway details for you guys and I don't want you to miss out on those. And with that, let's jump right in. So guys, this is what my makeup collection looks like. It's kind of split between these two shelves because there wasn't enough space in this bit over here. And so I have this little shelf by my desk and then the rest of my makeup collection is continued over there. So it's kind of split. Obviously, if I had like a bigger space, it would all be in one section. But let's just start over here. So these are mostly base bits. I have a little eyelash curler here from Shuimura. I don't use any other one. Then I have this from Dr. Jart. It's the Psychopair Tiger Grass Camo Drops. So I used to have like the cream version of this, but I found it too thick. But I really did like how it color corrected, so I decided to try this out. My skin has been super red and splotchy lately. So this is kind of a nice like in-between skincare and makeup thing. <laughs> that just primes my skin and makes it less red and irritated. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This stuff is pretty great. I only really use this in the summer because it is like a little bit drying, I've realized, and I don't really wear a full face, so I don't even reach for it that much anymore, but I have it here just in case. One of my favorite bases at the moment is the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. I have a little minute review up of this if you guys want to find out more about it. But yeah, this is just a really great, like, as you can see, there's like tiny little drops of pigment in this kind of like watery serum texture and it just makes for really light, glowy base. And then over here I have my beauty blender. It's unopened because I really don't use a beauty blender anymore. Like, I kind of just use my fingers for everything. And then here is my Kosas Tinted Face Oil. This is one of my favorite base products ever. And then I have my Milk Makeup Bronzer in Blaze and my Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Stick in the shade Quickie. So it looks really dark in the packaging, but it's actually a really light berry color. Then here I have the NYX Huile Prodigieuse Or. And this is just a gold version of their... Um, classic Huile Potiges and this is just, it has some like little sparkles and I like to use this basically when I go to events on my collarbone and stuff. Oops. <laughs> then this is Glossier U, one of my all-time favorite perfumes. It's like creamy, androgynous, fresh, just really beautiful scent. But guys, they've stopped the, they've discontinued the little solid perfume, which I'm so devastated about. And then here we have the Veil Mineral Primer. I don't, I mean, not primer. This is the translucent powder. Can't you read, Rachel? <laughs> anyway, this I just kind of use on days when I'm going to be out and I want my makeup to last a long time or when I'm feeling especially oily. But again, I don't really reach for this that much. I don't really reach for too much of this section, actually, except for, like, the few base products that I mentioned. Even this bronzer, I was in love with it for a while, but I have found a new love. And I'll also insert some swatches of these in a sec. There really wasn't too much to swatch, so that's the Milk Makeup Bronzer in Blaze and the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Stick in the shade Quickie. Moving on now to the fun part. This is the main area where my makeup is stored. And we're gonna start right up here with my Glossier selection. So I have pretty much all of the Glossier products. So I have four cloud paints here. I have Puff, Storm, Beam, and Dusk. I have Haloscope in the shade Moonstone. I have two glosses, the clear and the red. Then I have four Generation Gs. Ge that's not jam. Leo, jam, like, and zip. And as you can see, the packaging on these two is 
completely battered and I really want to get my hands on the new ones but I've barely made a dent in these so probably not for a while. Then I have this little cheeky thing. This is actually the Milk Makeup Kush Clear Brow. I got this to replace my Glossier Boy Brow. Thus, there was a gap in this section. It's not really meant to be here, but for now, it's living there. And I also much prefer the Glossier Boy Brow, so I think once this is done, I'll just go back to that. So here we have the cloud paints from left to right, Storm, Dusk, Beam, and Puff. And then my Glossier Lippies from left to right, the Red Lip Gloss, Clear Lip Gloss, Genji, and Leo, Like, Jam, and Zip. And then over here I have some blush palettes and little highlighters. This is the RMS Beauty Magic Luminizer. This is one of my favorite highlighters. And then I have the RMS Lip to Cheek in the shade Diabolique. This is a really wonderful, deep, berry, vampy shade. Then I have the Stila Convertible Color. This is in the shade Peony. This is a really lovely natural color and it's shown up in a lot of my like celebrity like makeup looks because a lot of people seem to love this. Then I have two Kosas palettes. This first one is Helios and this has just some like lovely orangey tones. So it's got like a beautiful gold highlighter and this like rusty orange blush. And then my more used one is Tropic Equinox, again by Kosas. This is a little bit more wearable for every day. It's like a nice peachy, bronzy blush and a traditional champagne highlight. And then I have my Bybee Babe Bomb Bronze. That's a lot of bees. And this is another creamy highlight. It does have like a bronzy tint, but I do like to use this as a highlighter because it sinks right into my skin and really goes well with my skin color. So in that first blush and highlighter compartment we had from left to right again, RMS Magic Luminizer, RMS Lip and Cheek and Diabolique, Stila Convertible Color and Peony, the Kosas Helios Blush and Highlighter, Kosas Tropic Equinox Blush and Highlighter, and then the Bybee Babe Bomb Bronze. Then over here we have even more blushes and some highlighting and contour sticks. So this over here is my Tony Moly Cheek Tone Cream, which I'm a huge fan of. I just discovered this this year and I've used it like pretty much every day. I think it's probably my most used blush of the year. And then this is Baby Doll Kiss and Blush by YSL. I recently got this. I picked this up at like the Black Friday sales and I think this is like the easiest cream blush to blend out ever. It's so good. And then I have a flesh. This is actually um, a lip compact in the shade Swollen. So I'll open that up for you guys. But because the texture is so creamy, I really do like to use this on my cheeks as well. Like for this all over kind of dusty, peachy, rose shade. And then I have a few lippies. This is just a clear one from Fresh. And then this is Honey, which is like a beautiful nude color. It's a little bit battered. I don't really know how that happened, but it's a nice little warm nude. Then I have Rose, which is a big favorite. It's just a lovely like sheer pink shade. It's a lot sheerer than it looks in the bullet, really. And then I have Spice, which is a really, really warm color. It's not really a nude. Like it's a little bit darker than that, like so... I really love this color and I think I featured it briefly in a like fall makeup video. I entered a card so you guys can go see that. And then I have these beautiful things from BLK. So they're both multitasking color sticks. One is in the shade Champagne, which is just like a kind of typical highlighting shade. I don't really reach for this that much because I prefer like my highlighters in the pots. But it is just like, you know, a very straightforward champagne shade as the name suggests. And then my current favorite thing for contouring is this one by BLK as well. It's the multitasking color stick, but this time in the shade Coco. I think it's great because it's like slightly cooler toned. So it looks really, really lovely. So in that tray from left to right, we had the YSL Kiss and Blush in Nunan Salon, Tony Moly Cheek Tone Cream in Mood Rose, we have the Flush Swollen Lip Compact. Then we have all three of the fresh ones. So that's Honey, Rose, and Spice. 
and then we have the two BLK multitasking color sticks in champagne and in cocoa. And then we're gonna get started with my huge lip collection. So I have some like here on the side, but not all of them would fit, so I put them into these little drawers as well. So here I have some Kylie lip sticks. So they're like liquid, they're not like the lip kits. They don't come with liners. They're just a bunch of like liquid lipsticks. I have like two glosses here and these were all gifted by my friend Angel. She loves a good Kylie lip and I really appreciate her sharing these with me. Here's another BLK product. I can't remember what this is called. It's the Universal Tint Duo. And this is lovely. On one side, it has like this water, which is kind of pink. And then on, on the other side, it has a more matte brown shade. And then this is from Pixie. It's one of their lip icings. It came in the Pixie Pretties collection. This is actually, this particular product is a collaboration with Chloe Morello. And I was really intrigued by this blue shade. So I decided to keep this one and give the rest to my family members. And then I have three Burberry Lip Velvet Crushes. I love these. I really like the applicators and you've seen these before. I picked these up last year for Black Friday. Okay, in that first lippy tray from left to right, Burberry Lip Velvet Crush in Oxblood, Cinnamon, and Honey Nude, the Pixie Lip Icing in the shade Sorbet. This is the BLK Duo and the whole thing is called Cinnamon, but the brownier shade is the matte and the pinkier shade is the water. Then we have all five of my Kylie Lip products. So that is Soul Sister, Twinning, Candy K, Main Bay, and Double Trouble. And then some more lip products, it never ends. I have this I Do Care Glow Easy Lip Oil. It's this really cool like raspberry color. It starts off as an oil, but then it does like kind of stain your lips and dry down. This was another thing that was gifted to me by Pixie. Again, part of the Pixie Pretties collection. This particular product was a collaboration with Maria Maquillage, which came with a matching sparkly eyeshadow, which you'll see later. This is just a really nice true nude. Of course, I have my Rouge lip palette in the signature shades. If you've watched my Jean Damas video, which if you haven't, why not? This is featured there and I use pretty much all of the shades. I have two Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs. This was the first and original shade, Fenty Glow, and then I have have diamond milk which I do prefer I love how glassy this is then I have a matte liquid lip from NARS it looks kind of black here but it is just like a beautiful deep vampy color this is called wild night and then another Fenty lip gloss this was in their galaxy collection so it was limited edition and I just love this it's like a lovely purple really out of this world gloss it's really lovely you know the drill guys, left to right. So I do care, Glow Easy Lip Oil, the Pixie Posh Nude Lip Tint. Um, these are all four shades in the Rouge Palette. This is the Fenty Lip Gloss in Fenty Glow and Diamond Milk. This is the NARS Liquid Lip in Wild Night. And then the Fenty Galaxy Lip Gloss. And then we might as well continue on with my lipstick collection. I put more of like my everyday lipsticks here like stuff that i really do reach for and look for on a daily basis so i'm gonna move them out so we can take a better look at them so starting back here i have this milk makeup lip color and this is in the shade dip out so i actually got this in tk maxx for 4.99 and i just always wanted to try a milk makeup lipstick so I decided to give this a shot. It is super matte and kind of drying, but I do love the color and I love the shape of this. Then I have two from Happy Skin. So this is a local Filipino brand and these are their like moisturizing lippies. So this is the shade under the sheets. And then I have another one and this one is called Slaying It. These are both super moisturizing and super pigmented and they're just so easy to use. I really love them. And then I have two pencils. I used to be like a huge pencil over like a classic lipstick bullet fan. So these are from NARS and they're gathering dust because I actually, to be honest, haven't used them in a while, not since my graduation. So this is the shade Bahama. And the other one I have is Bansar, which is a little bit browner and it's in their satin 
formula. Then I have a few other lippies here. So this is from Bobbi Brown. It's the Crush Lip Color in the shade Blackberry. And you guys know I love this formula. It's like the perfect blotted lip look. It's so easy to apply and so, so soft. And I don't actually reach for it that much, but I really want to wear it more. Then I have one of the Kosas Weightless Lip Colors. And this is in the shade Undone. And this is a very nice like toasted pink shade really fun for the summer and then here my browns and nudes which is pretty much my favorite color for lips at the moment i have birkin brown by charlotte tilbury and this is actually a lot redder than what i would prefer so it's kind of like a brick red on me rather than a true brown but my all-time favorite shade charlotte tilbury super 90s i always have a backup of this Every chance I get to stock up, I have it because I'm so afraid of it just like not selling anymore because it's limited edition. And so this is like the perfect brown nude. It looks so good for every day. And then something that looks quite similar in the bullet, but is actually a lot of a, a lot more of a peachier brown is this one by BLK Cosmetics. This is the shade Latte. And I really like this for when I just want a very classic and true nude lip. I used this recently when I did like some blue eyeliner and I'm planning to film that look for you guys. So you'll see this lippy in action very soon. More lippies. Sorry about the change in lighting as well. Um, milk makeup, dip out, happy skin under the sheets, happy skin slaying it, NARS Bahama, NARS Bansar, Bobbi Brown Crush Lip Color in Blackberry, Kosas Weightless Lip Color in Undone, Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution in Birkin Brown, Matte Revolution again but it's in Super 90s, and the BLK All Day Lip in Latte. And then over here in the back, we have my Bite Beauty lipsticks. This is the Amuse Bouche formula. This is in the shade Molasses. Again, it's like a really nice brownie shade, but it has a little bit more like rose undertones to it, so it's a little bit warmer. And then another Bite Beauty product, but this time it is a multi stick. This is in the shade Cerise, and it's a lovely deep red shade that I love wearing all over my face. And then another multi-stick, and this is in the shade Cashew. It's a really nice kind of rosy, nudie color. It looks a lot different from the bullet than it does on my skin. It gets a lot like warmer and deeper on my skin. I'll insert some swatches in a bit. And then my newfound loves, the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash. So basically what happened was I bought one, which is the like Noir Moderne, and then I bought so many well not so many i wanted to buy so many more but i bought two more so one that i bought was boy which is like perhaps one of their most popular colors it's just this very like lovely nice nude it's kind of like barely there which is what i love about it and then we have moment so i was actually after an rms lip to cheek no it wasn't lip to cheek it was like lip sleek or something very similar lip shine in the shade moment which looked exactly like this but i decided to get it in this formula because i am in love and this is like a wonderful brown rose shade and then the one that started the obsession is Dua Modern, and it's like a lovely rich wine plummy color this is something that i just want to wear every day like even if i'm just sitting inside i kind of want to just wear it because it feels so good and i'm obsessed and then, of course, my fresh sugar tinted lip treatments in their big sizes. I have Petal. This is the first one that I bought. And it's just a really nice pink, Petal Pink, as the name suggests. Then I have Poppy, which is a really bright, like, jammy, raspberry color. Really, really fun. Fresh Sugar in the City, which was, like, a limited edition one in collaboration with Ingrid Nielsen. This is a really nice, like, burgundy shade very apt for fall and as you can see i put these in my lipstick area because although they're tinted lip balms i do treat them more as a lip color i don't really use them for like any nourishment whatsoever i kind of just use them when i want a sheer lipstick we've reached the end of the lipsticks now from left to right bite beauty amuse bouche in molasses bite beauty multi sticks in cerise and cashew the three Chanel Rouge Coco Flash in Boy Moment and Noir Moderne, and the three Fresh Sugar Tinted Lip Treatments in Petal, Poppy, and Sugar in the City. And moving on over here, 
this back bit we can kind of skip over. This is mostly just brushes and I've crammed them all in so that I can move all my eye products into this bit here. I have this clear eye gloss from ASOS. I have the Marc Jacobs Gel Highliner in Blacker. Stila Stale Day Eyeliner. This is still one of my favorite liquid eyeliners ever. This is a micro tip so it helps me get a really, really precise wing. I have four lid stars. So I have them in Lily, Moon, Cub, and Fawn. I really don't use these that much and I'm not really a big eyeshadow person, hence why most of it can fit into this pot. I have my Miss Your Big Mascara and then a Chantecaille Fossil Mascara and my BLK Mascara. So I have three kind of on rotation. I recently stocked up on Lash Slick so I can be reunited with that again. There's space for that in here and I also got a couple color slides which didn't arrive in time for me to show you but I do have some other eyeshadows. So this is the one that came with a nude lipstick that I showed you guys and it's this lovely like black sparkly shadow. Then there's this Endless Shade Stick also from Pixie. This was gifted to me and this is a lovely copper color. Then this one came free with a Cult Beauty order. This is Nude Sticks. This is actually my first Nude Sticks product and you may have seen it in my previous video where Joe does my voiceover and this is called Gilt and it's a really light, nice gold color. Then of course I have my Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon in Dark Pearl and this is for brown eyes so it just makes brown eyes look even browner and richer. And then in here we have some more of my like everyday products, base products and such. I have all of my milk makeup stuff, so that's the highlighter and lit back there, lip and cheek and work, um, cooling water stick, the blur stick, holographic highlighter, and then the watermelon serum. I have Benefit Professional, which I like to use in the summer. And I have my Bobbi Brown BB Cream, which you guys have seen loads of. My Clay de Po Radiant Eye Corrector. Another highlighter. This is limited edition. It was like the Violette Poppy Sauvage collection. And it's just a lovely, like, clear highlight. It looks pink, but I promise it goes on clear. And there's, like, no shimmer. It's just kind of like a gloss. Then I have soap brows. My little soap brows kit. I have some mini mascaras here. The Milk Makeup Kush one. Bad Gal Bang. And then Hourglass Caution. And then my everyday concealer, the Clay de Po one, and I have an unopened Maybelline Age Rewind because this used to be my favorite and I used to like stock up on this all the time but I haven't reached for it in ages. And then here I have some more eyeshadows. I said I wasn't a big eyeshadow person and that is true. I don't really use these that much. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, which I'm pretty sure is the only palette I really need in my life. It's got these beautiful, beautiful shades. And then I got gifted this one from Pixie. Again, I have a recent video up doing a look with this. And this is with Heart Defensor. And it's just some lovely, like, orangey and red shades. Then I have two little sparkly, glittery eyeshadows. This one is Stila again. It's the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. This is in the shade Smoky Storm. It's a beautiful taupe color. And then I have my Shiseido Aura Dew. This is in the shade Lunar, and this is like my favorite sparkly eyeshadow formula. It's really, really good. It's a powder, but it goes on super creamy. And that's actually where my makeup collection ends, because in this last drawer, all I have are sheet mask, some tweezers, and tools. Last but not least, the eye products from left to right. ASOS Eye Gloss, Glossier Lid Stars in Lily, Moon, Cub, and Fawn. The Pixie Eyeshadow in Starry Night, the Pixie Endless Shade Stick in One and Done, the Nude Sticks Eye Pencil in Gilt, Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon in Dark Pearl, Stila Magnificent Metals, and the Shiseido Aura Dew in Lunar. Hey guys, editing Rachel over here. For some reason, I completely forgot to film the bit about the giveaway. So here goes, I'm hosting a giveaway on my Instagram. The details will be linked down below. 
to the exact post. All the rules are on it and it gives you a chance to win a lot of the products I mentioned here today. There's lots of Glossier in there as well as some skincare favorites. So please check it out. The link will be in the description box. That's all. So there you have it. That is my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at everything and seeing all the swatches. And I hope it did give you some ideas for things you might want to pick up for yourself this Christmas or for your friends and family. With that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!